up everyone it is your girl jail beauty 87 here aka grace and i took my happy sales to sephora this morning to make sure y'all got this review for these house labs by lady gaga color fused talc free powder blushes with fermented arnica so i got the shade watermelon bliss which is this one and what is the name of this pink one dragon fruit haze since everybody sorry dragon fruit day since everybody's crazy about that shade i was also looking at the shade aki Sky and um, hibiscus haze those are two shades I would like as well the peach one I feel like it'd be too soft for some of my skin tone but I like the other shade but I was like we're gonna calm down because we don't know how the formula this is and let's not get carried away not to mention these are $38 a piece and you know they that's that's half a blush we getting up there with Pat McGrath's prices and it's like get the Pat McGrath formula because if she's not she, she needs to go have several seats okay now I didn't bring any pink ones to compare but I brought some red ones to compare to see if they were going to be lighter or deeper. So let me read the description on these. Then we can get into the comparisons of the red ones. Then I'm put each one of them on my face. Give you my first impression thoughts. For once, it's just going to be your first impression. Ain't going to be no wear test. But girl, I can't. Anyway, it says, what is it? A clean, talc-free blush with fermented arnica that helps reduce redness and hydrating hydra berry that melts onto the skin for a second skin finish. Fermented arnica is rich in potent antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties hydra berry delivers immediate and long way sorry long range skin hydration and reinforces skin barrier vitamin c and e helps protect skin from free radical damage that can cause premature aging it says mega soft mega pigmented and mega sized this silky smooth formula melts seamlessly to deliver a natural looking rush of color with a second skin finish infused with skincare ingredients like they keep talking about these two skincare ingredients shea butter and vitamin c this blush delivers more than just beautiful color i'm tired of just saying arnica so that's why i was like we're not, we not doing it no more not today so like i said i got two colors i'm gonna try each color on the face just to you know like give you all a look at them but let's compare um the watermelon um bliss shake first I hate opening the top, y'all, where the um where the sticker is. So I'm trying to like not do that, but then it's like now I gotta tear the bottom up because it don't wanna just pop out like it should. It has to be difficult. So now I have to tear the bottom out and pull all this up. It's just a whole unnecessary thing. Oh, so the blushes are silver, so you know the difference between them, the bronzer, and the highlighter. Okay. So that's the pink one. Let's get into this red one. Of course, my battery one die now that you know I'm on the video that I'm actually trying to film, so I can leave. It always does that, I swear, y'all. Like, I could get, like, maybe one video done. I got the Laura Mercier intro film. I'm trying to film this blush, and now it, it just wants to start blinking. So, I'm loving the packaging. Look how gorgeous that is. It's this really cool red shade. All the reds I have in my collection, I feel like, are different, though. Because, like, I don't feel like it's similar to this ColourPop one from that Marielle collection. Or maybe it is. Only thing is, like, people say the matte blushes from them aren't as good. So, let's see. So, I swatched the one from Marielle. Oh, this is pretty silky and nice. Okay, so they're not a color dupe hers. It's more orangish red, and I feel like this is more of a true red. So that's the Mario one at the top. And then this is the one from House Labs. Now I got this super deep one from the It's a Small World After All collection. Let's see how deep it is compared to these. So this is it next to the House Labs. So since I had like two or three shades of red, I was like, we're gonna pull them all out and see how it works and see what it does. Now let's get into the Pat McGrath one. So y'all know I had to grab Night Moon Life. Let's see how similar it is to Mother. Okay, so of course Mother is the most pigmented one out of all of them. So that's Mother. That's um, um, ColourPop. That's House Labs. And that's ColourPop. So House Labs is the second one. And all these other ones are the ones we're comparing them to. I said I wouldn't do this in videos, but it's like I know I'm not going to have time today, literally, because I literally just got to try to go home and get some sleep before I pick Adrian up from school. I'm going to have to take this off my face just to put it on again later to possibly give you a wear test in the Laura Mercier video tomorrow. We'll see, but I'm going to go get a battery, then I'm going to come back and we're going to put this on and see how it works. I don't want it cutting off in the middle of me if I put on the blush. Be right back. Okay, y'all, so let's get into the pink one now. So here's what she looks like. Random side note, I got the last attention seeker in the store. I went to to pick up all of my new products from Sephora. 
along with the um, New Mega Forever Powder Foundation. I want to see how it compares to the old one. Because I'm trying to figure out what the difference is other than them adding more shades to it. Because I didn't have a problem with the original one. I was like, Morgan Turner, like, I don't feel like it's broke. Why are you trying to fix it? But I got the bright pink shade. I'm one of... I feel like this one is a little deeper than the other ones people traditionally have. So I'm telling like this one might work a little bit better for some of my skin tone. Because I feel like the other ones are quite a bit lighter. I want to put the shimmery um, shade from um, Patrick Star's brand on top of it. This pink shimmery shade on top. Sorry, a little plastic fell out. And see how it looks on top of it. So I might do that another time. I'm not going to do it today because I don't want to distract from what's supposed to be going on in this video. Although technically it's a blush video, so I guess I could. We'll see how I feel when we get there. I didn't even put any highlighter on y'all just because I was like, I'm tired. I'm, I've slept for like two hours a day, so I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not feeling it at all today. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to put on highlighter or not, but I'm like, since I got to take a picture of the thumbnail, I probably should. Anyway, let's get into this watermelon um, bliss. So, ooh, hello pigmentation. I like pigmentation off the bat like this. And it's just like it said, blending into the skin and making a second skin. If y'all haven't noticed, I've been wearing a lot of like brighter um, blushes lately. I'm here for it. You know, it's a vibe. It's a moment. It's cute. I like it. So I'm liking this one and the pigmentation and the unique color it gives. I mean, now that it's so unique, I just showed y'all three other red blushes in my collection. But, you know, it might be unique to some other people's collections. Who might not think they can wear it, but they know these are going to be softly pigmented. Because as you can see, I'm building it up quite nicely. And it does give that second skin effect. I feel like this would be good for the girls who wanted that. What was this, this, the burn look when you put the blush on your nose like Betty Jean does? I feel like this would be good for somebody like that. Now, I don't know if you have to pack on as much as I do because obviously, you know, a person of a lighter skin tone won't have to pack on as much. I just do this because like I know it's gonna like wear off, and it, when it blends in, it blends away some. So I'm happy with the pigmentation I did. Plus, it's like I know stuff wears throughout the day. I've been doing a new routine when it comes to my um, foundation, not foundation. When it comes to like putting on my makeup, I think by sharing it with y'all, but I'm like I don't know if you're really gonna like care or not because I just changed up. The way I use setting spray with my makeup and I found to make my makeup last way longer throughout the day now than it used to with the way I used to do it. So you can let me know if you're interested or not or I might just show y'all um, in another video in the future. But you can let me know down below. Um, but I'd say I like the color. It's nice. It's soft. I feel like I see a little shimmer and sheen to it even though I didn't put it on my face. But I think that's because of the bronze I use. I use the um, Makeup by Mario like the one that's supposed to be a skin finishing powder or a bronzer or a bronzer highlighter hybrid thing. So I think that's where the shine is coming from. Because there was none in the pan. It was just matte. So let's see how this pink one looks. Yeah, see? This one I'm definitely going to have to build up a lot. So she's going to have to pat in here in a good 20 minutes. Oh, okay. Well, maybe not 20. Maybe 15. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually feeling the color. I think it's nice. I... I feel like I have similar colors to this too just because it's so popular. So, I should swatch this against the Patrick Star one to see what the difference is since I want to put the shimmery one on top. But I want y'all to see how this one looks on its own before I put the shimmery one on top. So I might, like I said, that's why I kind of don't want to put the shimmery one on top because then when I go to take the pictures for um, Instagram and YouTube, and everybody be like, why is that side of your face shimmering if they're supposed to be, you know, matte blushes. So I'll do that tomorrow in the, um, Makeup Forever video. Put the shimmery one on top and see how I feel about it. But I'll do a wear test on these tonight and you'll just hear about it Friday when I when the Laura Mercier video goes up. And then I'm going to have the Makeup Forever video probably go up Sunday. And then Saturday I got um, a white don't need the Natasha Denona little face palette. Since it hasn't come out yet anyway. Because at first I was just going to skip it because I was like I meant to do it before I went on vacation to Vegas and I didn't chance to. So I was like mm, I don't know if I'm going to do that. But like then I ended up Okay, so I feel like I built it up enough. I just tried to build it up a whole lot for you all to see the color good and well on some of my skin tone. If you are my skin tone, to get an idea. So, I think I built it up enough, girl. Yeah, that's an, if, if that's not enough for you, I don't I don't know. We're, we're not not trying to get that outrageous. I'm trying to find the blush I was telling you all about. Because I got some pink ones from the Art, what is the Art Deco Pop collection that ColourPop came out with. That bright pink one that's supposed to be um, similar to it. What is it? No, kitchen is supposed to be similar to the cooling one. I just bought all three of them once somebody said they were a dupe. Okay, so 
course it would be the last one I go grab. It was in the shade Meow. And then they had another one from Colourpop. It was supposed to be similar to it if I remember correctly. I'm really liking this pink though. It's not giving that, you know, ashy pink that you normally um, get from the other ones. Because, you know, they kind of have white base. So I like hers a little bit better. Yeah, hers definitely is not the same as this one at all. This one is so much lighter. I did not bring the Dior one though. So I have to swatch the Dior one. Um... Later on, I'll give y'all a real one. I'm going to give y'all a real on all of these. But yeah, see, this is the one from Colourpop. The first one I have from Colourpop. There's supposed to be a couple from Colourpop that's supposed to be similar. And this is the one that's on my face. So as you can see, this is one is more friendly for people my skin tone. that want to use the pink blush, which I can appreciate. But people who are still lighter can use a light hand. So I'm, I'm liking that whole aspect of it. I think that's nice. So I must say I'm very impressed with these blushes. Now, I don't know if I'm $38 for the press. We had to see how it wears throughout the day. But on first impression of putting it on my face, I am thoroughly impressed with the blush. I like it a whole lot. And I'm especially really liking the pink one just because it wasn't what I was expecting, which is one of those cool white pinks that don't actually work that great on my skin tone a lot. So that's why I'm pleasantly surprised to find that it's actually working on my skin tone quite nicely. So this one we're working with, girl. Um... I will use Attention Seeker with this blush in tomorrow's video for the uh, Makeup Forever powder. Because I want to put the old Makeup Forever powder against the new Makeup Forever powder. And then I'm going to use possibly the Makeup Forever foundation. I don't know. We see. I might use the Laura Mercier one again just to get a little bit more wear with it. But then again, I kind of want to use it with a foundation I'm familiar with. Because we're going to be using a new powder foundation on one side of the face. And I want it to give it 10 y'all can comment down below matter of fact since this video goes up today and tell me do you want me to use the um makeup forever powder foundation as if it is a regular liquid foundation and just put it all over my face or do you want me to battle it against the other one and put it over the liquid one the way i would traditionally use it because i'm interested to hear your thoughts so comment down below and tell me which one you want but i'm i'm liking these blushes i'm actually liking the pink one more than i'm liking the red one and i thought i was gonna like the red one more but you have to think since i have so many reds i'm kind of just like excited to have a pink that kind of works for my skin tone a little bit better that's still kind of popular with the trend that's going on now so shout out to lady gaga for that because i was expecting it not to look good and i think it looks quite good i mean i put way too much on but I, again i did that to let you see how the color would look on someone my skin tone so those are my thoughts on it i like the formula of it. i think it's nice i don't know if i think it's 38 dollars nice yet like i said i haven't worn it a whole day to see how i feel with the new routine that i use to see how well and how long it lasts because that's my concern because blush wears off really quick and it's like if it's going to wear off really quick for $38, I might as well just stick with the ColourPop one or stick with another brand that's like cheaper or wait for e.l.f. to come out with a primer infused version of the pink one, which I feel like they should come out with soon since everybody's coming out with pink blush. So I like it. I like the formula. I think it looks great. It's just I don't know about the price point considering, you know, it's almost 40 bucks for one blush. That's high as hell. So... On first impression, it looks nice. It glass on the skin, nice. And I like the inclusivity of, like, the popular pink shade for some of my skin tone. But $38 a lot. I, you might need to wait for sale, girl, because we're talking about 40 bucks for one blush. But those are my thoughts. So you can comment down below and tell me which color you prefer. I'm going to get some more colors during the sale, though, because I do like it well enough for that. It's just I don't know if I like it to buy those same colors right now for the $38 with all the makeup that's in my collection. But... I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all in dimes. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye.